You'll notice all the action behind me. Perhaps you're just hearing a lot of it here in the hood room. That's because Demo Fest is in full swing here. They just opened up the doors a little while ago, folks swinging in here to the Mount Hood room. And we're very lucky to have our very own one-on-one -on -one demo right here from Microsoft Development Lead of the Tools for Software Engineers Group, Nikolai Tillman. Nikolai, thanks for being here. Thank you. This is going to be fun. Uh, I got excited because I heard video game, and then they followed up with code, and then my head started hurting. But I know uh, that you can handle it. Uh, thanks for bringing in your demo for our audience. Uh, what do you have today? So I'm going to show, uh, indeed, a game yeah. um, where you have to write code. So it's called Code Hunt, and the idea is that you have to write a particular algorithm to solve puzzles. Okay. So the background here is that we have actually done a decade of research on how to automatically test programs. So we have a, a tool for professional developers that integrates into Visual Studio to automatically generate test cases. Ah. And that helps you write better code, find bugs. But it sounds a bit boring, right? Well, I, and I have to wonder, is this uh, purely for enjoyment? Is it for recruitment? Or is it for education or for all of the above? Uh, it's all of the above. So we took this technology that we developed for serious developers and we turned it into something that is fun and yet uh, useful for many other purposes as we discovered, like, like recruiting and running contests to find the best coder in the world. Gotcha, okay. So I can just go yeah, ahead show and show you the demo. All the Let's see. So it hunt. all starts from the website codehunt.com and when you go to the site, uh, you see there's a cool logo. We really made it look like, yeah. like a game that you play on your phone. And if you start going in, I just tap on the play button, then you can select different levels. And as you get more skilled, you can progress to, to different sectors. Let's start with uh, something very simple, the training sure. level. And so what we see is there's a program here, some code. and the goal of the game is to write code in here that solves a secret puzzle that we don't know the solution to yet. Okay. And in the background, our test case generation engine uses symbolic execution, theorem provers, constraint solvers, lots of sophisticated technology to see whether your program is correct. Now, what does it really mean? What is correct? We don't know beforehand. And the only way to get more knowledge about what this program is supposed to do that we are writing, you have to press this button, Capture Code. It invokes our analysis, and you get a table that shows you that for a particular input, for example here, minus one, our, return, our code returns zero, and so did the uh, secret program that returned the expected result zero. Everything is good in this line, but there's another line where for the input zero, we should have returned one, but re we returned zero. Because this code always returns zero. So what I can do now is go in, and looking at that one broken line, I can write an if statement. If x is zero, then we expect it to return one. So I can refine my program, ask the system again, and it says, I got it right for zero, but now there's another value where it's wrong right. for one. So I can keep writing these if statements, and what happens is that under the hood, our engine actually analyzes the code. Every time I'm writing an if statement, it produces a new test case. And I can basically keep doing this forever. I can write more and more if statements, and I will never win. What really has to happen at this point is that we try to see what is the general uh, problem that we are supposed to solve. And actually, in this case, wrote the wrong if statement. And if you look closely, then it looks like you're always supposed to return one more than the input was. And when you make that step, that abstraction step, we can tie that. So I can say, in general, return x plus one. And hopefully, if I got that right. Come on. Price. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nikolai, we're waiting for the big, so ta-da, you did it. What in the background is that the problem is sent to a cloud service, sure. which, um, can deal with an arbitrary number of people, and it tries hard to figure out whether this program is equivalent to a secret one. And when it is, then you win. So in general, if, if you go back to the game, mm -hmm. um, there are different levels, and they get more and more difficult. So later on, there's another one where you don't have to come up with x plus 1. That's kind of trivial. But you have to implement a sorting algorithm. So 
we have a puzzle that takes an array and returns an array, and we are supposed to implement a sorting algorithm. And here on the right, you see that numbers are shuffled around. So that's really much more of a challenge. Um, and people spend a lot of time doing this. So over time, we actually had quite a lot of people who were playing the game. There's a leaderboard. And you can see, so there, here are some people who got a lot of points. Every yeah. time you win a level, you get some points. Okay. The, more, the more elegant code your code is, the more points you get. And some people spend a lot of time trying to hone their programming skills. Yeah. So, Nikola, I got to ask, because when I was a kid, there was a popular movie called The Last Starfighter about a kid who lived in this remote area, and he played this video game, and then he became so good at it mm -hmm. that it was a recruitment tool. He didn't know about it. They came down from space. They said, you, you're the last starfighter. You're the, you won this game. You're the best starfighter. So I have to wonder, is there any stories of somebody who's done so well that you go knock at the door and say, hey, you've got a budding career here. Right. Are you a coder? You should be. Does that, I mean, is that... That's one of the ideas behind Code Hunt. Uh, this is a service provided by Microsoft, and recruiting is one area where we want to use it. Already today, whenever I have to interview someone for a job, I make them solve a puzzle, and <laughs> it's out there now. You can go to CodeHunt.com, and if you're really, really good, we might contact you. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So all of this runs in, in Windows Azure. There's a, a service behind it. Um, if you're really good, you cannot just try to win the game. You could actually write a bot that automatically solves such challenges. So the opportunities are limitless in how you can have fun in this game, right? You can write code, or you could write an engine that writes code. Wow. Kind of created this whole little web here, disguised as a game. Look at you. Well done. Thanks for showing us the demo. This Thank is you. cool. Thank you. You, get, you know there's a lot of people here. You can go recruit. Go around. There might be the next great coder of the world right behind us here. Yeah, let me go out there and catch <laughs> some. Nikolai, thanks, man. We appreciate it.